And now, D-U-Z does brings you the Goldbergs. You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap that does everything best. Say, do you know what Mrs. Murphy said to Mrs. Jackson the other day? Glory be. Do you know what they're saying? Does does everything best. And Mrs. Jackson told Mrs. McFarlane... I could hardly believe it, but it's really been proved. And does does everything best. And Mrs. McFarlane told the whole neighborhood... Listen, girls, if you want your money's worth, try does. It does everything best. Well, ladies, that's no small talk. This new kind of soap really does everything and does it best. We've proved it. We took 25 different wash day soaps, very likely the soap you're using right now. Then we tested these soaps on a really tough wash. Greasy work shirts, grimy towels, even pretty rayon slips. Tested them for whitest washes, most suds for cleaning, along with greatest safety for colors. And listen, of all those soaps, only Does came out with a perfect score. Compared to Does, some soaps missed out on whiteness, some on safety, and some on suds. Only Does came out tops on everything. So just think what Does can do. Take those pretty colors you wash. Blouses, undies. Does can give you greater safety for them. Actually, leave them brighter. Take your towels and linens. Does can get them whiter for you. Does beat soap after soap on whiteness. Take your grimy work clothes. Say, in tests for getting grimy work clothes clean in the least time with the least work, Does rated tops again. Does does them without hard scrubbing. Yes, there you are. For whitest washes, most suds for cleaning, and greatest safety for colors combined, this new kind of soap tested best. So, ladies, whatever wash day soap you're using, change to Does. Does does everything best. And now, Does invites you to visit the Goldbergs. There are all sorts of ways to announce an engagement but certainly Sammy and Dora's method had an original quality about it. In spite of thunder and lightning and static, the Goldbergs heard the announcement of their engagement via the airwaves and Dora's program. Certainly they didn't expect this kind of announcement, but since it happened, one would expect Molly and everybody involved to be overjoyed. Unfortunately, though, Molly is not. Why? Well, there are two major reasons. One of them concerns Dora's mother, Mrs. Mayer, who still seems to be hostile to the whole matter. And the other stems from that hostility. It has left Molly in quite a dilemma and has wiped out any joy she might have. It's really a simple thing, but requires a decision that is difficult to make. And what is it? Well, listen. Where's everybody here? Everybody, where are you? Shh, Uncle David. What's the shower? Mum is lying down. Why? She, she's sick? No. Oh, she's not happy? Of course she's happy. Uh, I'm happy like, like a chicken that just came out of an egg. So happy I am. Well, why is Mama not happy be, because of Mrs. Mayer? Well, Mama would feel better if Mrs. Mayer approved of the marriage. It's not pleasant for Mama to know that Mrs. Mayer is opposed. Uh, opposed? You talk to Mama, Uncle David. There's nothing to talk, Rosalie. Let Mama make her wedding, and if she wants to invite Mrs. Mayer, let her invite her. If not, she can stay home, either which way. Mrs. Mayer is Dora's mother, Uncle David. To me, that's not a mother, Rosalie. Where are you going? I, I want to speak to Jake. Jake! Jake! What do you want? Speak to Jake, I, I have David. to speak to Jake oh. something. Jake! Yeah. Rosalie? Yes, Ma. Rosalie, don't advise me. The only advice I can give you, Ma, is to relax. How can I relax, Rosalie? How, how can I relax? Samly's getting married. How can I relax? Who's going to make the wedding? Me or Mrs. Mayer? The bride's mother usually makes the wedding. Usually? Usually? But this is an unusual situation. Mrs. Mayer knows that Sammy and Dora are in New York getting their license. She's aware of the circumstances. There's nothing she can do about it now, Ma. Mm -hmm. so, so that's my dilemma, not? Is that my dilemma? Is that my problem? What is your problem, Mrs. Anthony? <laughs> what is your problem, Mrs. Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> is this a moment for laughter? Why not? 
This is a moment for joy and happiness. For, for joy and happiness, Mel. Why is there always something to spoil a person's joy? Why should you allow anything to spoil it? I certainly wouldn't let Mrs. Mayer spoil it. Oh, let me think and let me gather my brains together. Jake. Yes? I want to speak to Mrs. Mayer. About what? About what, Mel? About who's going to make the wedding. We are. We are making the wedding. I thought that was decided. I, I thought that was decided, ma'am. But out of respect, I have to consult her, no? About what? First, I have to ask her who, who's going to make the wedding. If she says no... So? All I want to hear is a no. And then? And then? Then I'll, I'll know how to proceed. And what will your procedure be? I always wanted Cantor Human for the Cantor. So you'll take uh, Cantor Human and he'll be the Cantor? Sure, you'll call Cantor Human and then he'll be the Cantor. Call Mrs. Mayer, Rosalie. All I want to hear is from her lips a refusal. Call Rosalie, please. Do you think you should, Ma? I do. I don't. I do. Do. What? Call. All right. The Mayers, please. Songbird Hill. If we have the wedding here, by us here, we can use the front room and open the doors. And the dining room, the front room will make one big room. Hello? She gave me. Hello? What is it? She hung. The line is busy. Rosalie? Rosalie, look at me. The line was busy, Ma. The line was busy or you're protecting my feelings, which? The line was busy, Ma. You sure? Because if Mrs. Mayer hung, because she didn't wish to speak to me, I would know what to do. Do it anyway. Do it anyway, Mary. Anyway, I can't. Why not? Why not? Because. Because she's the bride's mother. And what are you? I'm the groom's mother. Which means? Jake, please. All right, all right. All right. Try all right. again, Rosalie. Ma, really? Oh, yeah, Rosalie, don't really me. D -d don't really me because I'm not dancing the real. Please. I'm not a dancer. I'm my toes with the real. And don't really me. Please. Oh, how many years for this moment did I wait? How many years? You, you said call. Rosalie should call, so sit down, Ma. Sit, sit down. Call, Rosalie. I'm calling, Ma. The mayor's, please. Yes. Jake. Oh, Jake, Sam is getting married. Can you believe it? Ma, here. Huh? Here. Yes, it's Mrs. Mayer. Oh. So, so why didn't you say hello? Here, Ma. Hello? Mrs. Mayer? Uh... This is Mrs. Goldberg. Hello? She hung. Hello? Then hang too. Hello? Hang. Hello? I said hang. I'm hanging. Now you have to do what you have to do, Molly. Yes, now I have to do what I have to do. That woman can't cross my threshold. Rosalie, call me can't a human. Do you know the number, Ma? How should I know the number, Rosalie? Ask information. Look in the book. Molly, Molly, will you hold yourself together? Molly, will you hold yourself together? She knows the children are getting the license. She can't stop what can be avoided. Does he live in the Bronx, Ma? Who? Can't you know me? No, of course he lives in the Bronx. Where, where, then from where do I know him if not from the Bronx? Not from Canarsie, Rosalie, darling. Foolish question, 776 lives in the Bronx. He didn't live on the next block. You don't know, can't well, you human? Call and look. Him. Look. I look and it. see. You have it? So, so call if you have it. Jake, darling. Yes. Um, I'm only asking, uh, once more, should I call Mrs. Mayer for the final refusal? You will not. How many times do you want her to hang up on you? All right, Rosalie, please. Call. Some water for me, Jake, please. I will. I will. Please. Hello, operator. I, I want long distance. Long distance. New yes. York. Not local. Long. Three months, six, nine, nine, seven, oh. Wait, what's the number so I can jot? Three months, six. Six. Nine, nine, seven, oh. Nine, six. Seven, nine, nine, seven, no. I got it. Here is water, Molly. Thank Spot you. Spot the glass. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hello, Cantor Human. Hello? No. Is this Cantor Human? You got him on the wire? Yes. So give me. Let Mama. Well, Mrs. Goldberg would like to speak to you, please. Did you say they remembered me? I didn't ask him. So why didn't you ask him? Hello? H hello, Cantor Human? Uh, this is Mrs. Goldberg, if you remember. Mrs. Goldberg G. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Jacob Goldberg. He thought Benjamin Goldberg from the 178. No, M Jacob Goldberg. Yes, the same. Uh-huh. We all well. I hope leaves you a present. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, uh, uh, can't a human. 
I, I wish to engage your services for my son's wedding. Huh? No. You're, you're engaged? Who, who engaged you? Huh? Then? What? What? Who? What who? That's right. Dora Mayer. Can I hear a voice? Let's huh? hear a voice, ma'am. Well, uh, I'm only the groom's mother. What is it, ma'am? What is it, Well, if the bride's mother said that's the date, what? What? then that's the date. What? Oh, what? Thank Molly. you very much. Molly. Oh, oh, that makes everything perfect. What? What? That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, yeah, everything the bride's mother is going to make the wedding. Well, so it seems that somebody beat Molly to the canter. And it appears to be Mrs. Mayer. For a moment, it took the wind out of Molly's sails, but only for a moment, for actually this is exactly what Molly wanted. There's only one drawback. Doesn't Mrs. Mayer intend to consult Molly at all regarding Sammy and Dora's marriage? Does Mrs. Mayer still resent what's happening? Now, it's only natural for folks to be skeptical. I ought to know. You see, when I first told you the terrific news that does, does everything and does it best, you said... Prove it. So I did. I explained how tests against 25 different wash day soaps prove does, does everything best in the wash. Now, suppose I said does, does everything best in the dishpan, too, what would you say? Prove it. Okay, listen. Not one of those 25 soaps tested could match all does can do for you in the dishpan. Only Does gives you this amazing combination. Suds that stand up till the last dish is done, fastest suds for cutting grease, together with greatest kindness to your hands. Compared to soap after soap tested, Does gives more suds faster. Longer lasting suds, you don't have to keep adding soap. Does actually cuts through grease quicker too, without hard scouring. Yet Does is wonderfully kind to your hands. Like I said, in tests for greatest kindness to hands, Does scored tops. Yes, it's proved in the dishpan, too. Does, does everything best. Sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg and brought to you by D.U.Z. Does. The Goldbergs receive an unexpected visit, and they certainly are glad about it. This is Clayton Collier saying good day for Procter & Gamble, the makers of Does, the soap that does everything best. Used fats are still urgently needed. They help make lubricating oils for our planes. Save all used fats.